Hey, hey, everyone. Welcome back to the Mission Impact series with Ty and Tracy. And today we're still talking about the um, citizen focused purpose. So we talked about measuring citizen satisfaction, which is measuring customer service satisfaction, basically. Um, and the citizens, of course, are the people who you're serving in the community. And then we talked about developing a map of how citizens experience those journeys. So how they experience working with you from the time they onboard to the time they exit. And then today we're going to be talking about using citizen feedback to drive change. Oh, we're getting close to data, right? So, um, and we know that data is everything, right? What a time. What a time. Hot sauce. <laughs> It's like how sauce in your hand bag, right? Yeah, so data is everything. So we're getting very close to that. So, um, and we can talk about some of it in here because I think it just, it's like everything, like it goes on everything. So my name is Tracy V. Allen. I'm the owner of TVA Consulting Group. I help social impact businesses to design, build, and fund their social ventures so that they can live the lifestyle that they want to while impacting the community. <laughs> That's what that lifestyle means for most, most people. Right? Um, my name is Todd Bowen. I'm owner of Todd Enterprises. I work mainly with nonprofit organizations, helping them to move from startup and struggle to sustainability and success. Mm -hmm. And what we're talking yeah. about, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we get a little flustered over here because we're talking about so many things. So using citizen feedback to drive change. So the feedback, we talked about evaluation in the last, the last episode, right? So we talked about having evaluative tools to measure that transformative effect that you're trying to achieve, which is the outcomes. We use different words, mean the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. um, so you're gonna, you have a, you, so you have a problem, you have developed solutions to the problem, you have strategies that you're going to implement to solve the problem, but along the way you need to know are these strategies working? Is there change happening within the community? Is there change happening with that individual who's in the program? So you have your assessment at the beginning, then you have benchmark evaluations, so like your midterm exams, right? Mm -hmm. um, or your quarterly exams that you will take. And then you have your final exam. And then after the final exam, we have a holistic exit strategy or exit exam or exit um, assessment that you're going to take so that we can evaluate your entire experience mm -hmm. throughout the program. You want to take these um, feedback, the feedback that they're giving you along the way, and you're going to use it as a tool to sharpen your programs to make them better, to make them more impactful. It may be taking certain elements away. It may be adding certain elements or even adding other components to the program altogether to make it stronger. So I always like to give the analogy or the, the, the story of when I worked for a GED program. And one of the things that we had a huge problem with was especially single moms not coming to the program on a regular basis, right? And when we did an evaluation to figure out what was going on, why are these women not coming to the program? We figured out that they first were single moms and most of them had under um, children, young children, right? Babysitting age. So they weren't in school. So if the child is sick, they can't come. If and most of them, you know, didn't live around family, so they didn't have any daycare. So if they couldn't find a friend um, or neighbor to take care of the child, they couldn't come to the program. So one of the things that we had to do was a look at our resources, right? We talked about resources in one of the other things, in other, one of the other series. Look at the resources we had around us, and we made a partnership with another organization that had vouchers for child care services that we were able to then give to these women so that they had steady child care. Some of them couldn't come to the program because they didn't have the money to pay a bus to get to the program. We got with another um, organization that had funds that they could give us to buy bus tickets, a monthly bus ticket for the women to, for the women to come to the program. And we were able to give them that the um, bus tickets. So they had no excuse for not coming because they didn't have transportation. And then they didn't have any excuse for not coming because they did not have child care. Mm -hmm. So that is part of, you know, using what the feedback that we got, right? Because we were doing 
assessments. We're doing surveys on a regular basis and we use that feedback to drive change within the program and took it from a, a truancy rate of maybe 75% to one of about 25 or less percent. Mm -hmm. And everything is, you know, a, a tool for improvement, right? And you, and you don't wait until, you know, you have funding, you have a grant that's three years and you wait till the end of three years to get the feedback. You don't do that. This is why you know, things like process evaluation, what, what you're ex explaining now is what has to be done. Because first, if you don't do process evaluation and you don't have key performance indicators, you don't know what you're looking for, right? So you knew that you were having this program, a GED program for single moms, because you're looking for a certain number by a certain time, that's KPIs, you're looking for a certain number by a certain time, and you didn't get that number. So you're like, okay, well, by month three, we're supposed to have 20 people in the GED program. We only got six that's coming consistently. Mm -hmm. and month three, you knew to stop and look. Mm -hmm. What we're doing is we ain't putting none of that stuff in. No process evaluation. We don't know when we're meeting goals. Or we're, and then before you know it, the year has gone by. We now I realize we only serve six people, right? Yeah. So you're like, okay, well, I know that by month three we're supposed to serve this many people, and that they're supposed to be this far along in their GED prep, and and this is not happening. So why? So now you have the question: of what, what is what's going on? Why didn't they show up? What it was? It's a free program. And they're at the housing authority. What's happening? Now you're knowing. Okay, well, let's go see what's going on before mm -hmm. we deepen this thing. This is why the process evaluation is so important. Before we get too deep in this, let's see what's happening. Oh, they, they need, you know, there's no daycare or they don't have, yeah. daycare. They, they ain't got no money. The bus is, the bus line don't even come over here, right? <laughs> A lot of stuff you can do up front in forms of evaluation. Like right. You start the program to know where the bus, if you had that data already, that information already, but sometimes you don't. Sometimes you, right. You figure you you're like, oh God, this is a new problem. I didn't even know this is happening, or it's snowing today. I didn't expect it was gonna be snow. So you know right. that so like to us when when the, they put the, the program out, it wasn't specifically to women, it was for anybody who needed a GED who happened to show up to the program were mostly women. And then we figured out, okay, wait a minute, we have a problem. Yeah. <laughs> you okay. know, and why is it mostly women? Because women are they're going to show up because, as, you know, you're talking about this culture, this time. Yeah. You're talking about women who are ready to get their education on. And the men may be going on working somewhere, doing yeah. something else. I ain't got no GED, but look, I got a job and I got to take care of the house. So we gone, right? Mm -hmm. that, those factors that play into it, that if you don't stop during the process to, to see what is going on around you and what's going on around the program or the, or the service that you're trying to provide, you miss it. And sometimes you miss it when it's too late. You've lost a lot of money. You lost yes. a lot of time. You've lost resources when mm -hmm. you stop during the process and figure this out. Getting that feedback as you go, and then again, every time you're, you're getting to a point or stage where you're supposed to measure your goals, getting additional feedback so you can know how to maneuver and, and what to change. Yeah, I think that's it. So um, just know that you need to measure the feedback you need to have a feedback system for your citizens and you need to use that as a tool to make your programs and services stronger all right until next time bye everyone